dark in here. Whoa, you see that? I was trying to fix the lighting, but it just fixed itself. That's good. Hello, new camera. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Happy birthday if it is your birthday. I'm trying to get better about saying that happy birthday thing at the beginning of vlogs, but I feel like I always forget because I just have like morning brain. <laughs> so I'm starting my day by just cleaning up the kitchen here. Connor made dinner last night, so I wanted to clean the kitchen, but I was just too tired last night to do it. We stayed up too late. By too late, I mean like we were in bed by midnight. <laughs> That's just too late for me on a weeknight though. <laughs> so anyway, I told him just leave everything. I'm gonna clean it up in the morning, so. That's what I'm starting my morning by doing. Oh yeah, I also had to like empty the dishwasher and everything. It was just too much for it being like 11.30 at night. First sleep in our new bed was so nice though. I am so excited that we just have a king size bed now. Like what a dream come true for me. <laughs> so today I have a couple things on the agenda. So I have um, obviously work to do as always. What else is new? I feel like I'm always working when I'm vlogging because I tend to only vlog during the week and I work Monday through Friday. <laughs> I also have some goals as far as the apartment and some stuff that I want to get done. So I thought that it would still be a sort of fun day to vlog regardless. Maybe before I start on the dishes, I should um, make my morning drink. I sort of wanted to make a matcha today because I haven't had a matcha in a while. But it's just so cold. Like I just don't want a matcha. It's like gray and cloudy out. I want something warm. We got this baby warming up for the chai in a molly mug, of course. <laughs> Back to my cleaning. Look at this little cat. You loving a king size bed? <laughs> So I just moved into the bedroom because I'm going to take a call in six minutes. <sighs> I was looking at my to-do list. Actually, is pretty full today for work, which is always a bummer, obviously. <laughs> always want those lighter days, but that's okay. I pretty much knew this week would be pretty crazy, and it honestly has not been as bad as I anticipated, so can't complain. So this sit just like won't go away, slash it's just like flat on my face now, but it's so red still. What is going on here? It is 1 p.m. now and I'm just working on lunch. I have not had this lunch in so long and I'm so excited. I am heating up one of the corn spicy patties and I'm gonna make a little salad wrap. I am pumped. I have missed my corn patties very much. So super excited for that. And then I need to hop right back into work because I have not made nearly enough progress today um, on my to-do list. I think I'm gonna be working a little late tonight. is finished. I'm actually vlogging on my phone right now because my camera battery died and I still don't have an extra, which reminds me I need to order that literally right now. I'm gonna go right now because I don't want to have to, you know, keep doing this and I do a lot of time lapse so the batteries die quickly. Anyway, now I'm rambling, but here is lunch. I'm going to go enjoy it. Whew. And just like that, it is pretty much the end of the day. I obviously did not vlog because my camera was charging and then I was just sitting around working anyway, so. I figured let's just let it get a full charge this time that way hopefully it'll last and I went ahead and ordered some extra batteries so those are going to be arriving on Saturday. Obviously I took my hair out of the braids too. I had to take a quick photo and Connor just left because he's getting a haircut. His first haircut since September I think. Pretty crazy. His hair has been so long he's been dying to get it cut so I think he's pretty excited about it. <laughs> I'm doing this thing on my Instagram story where I'm showing like all the stuff that I bought off of Amazon for our place so far and linking it. So I think I'm gonna work on some of that content. And then I think we're gonna work on a fun little DIY project. Well, scratch what I said in my last clip because Connor got home from his haircut and told me that he noticed a little spot on Main Street that did not look too busy. And so I think we're gonna go grab a drink there and an appetizer. But then when we get back, I'm going to try to work on a few things. I actually don't know, maybe I won't do that DIY today now, but I definitely want to organize let me show you. <laughs> All of this needs help, and now I have what I need to help it, so I just wanna get all of this in order. It shouldn't be too big of a project, but um, enough to get done. Oh, hello. Also, this is what I have on right now. <laughs> it is cold out, so I just have on this like big fleece 
black jeans, some booties, and I will probably throw another jacket on on top of this just to be safe since obviously everything is outdoors. So I want to make sure that I am warm enough and comfortable. Look at this man's haircut. <laughs> so cute. Not he looks bad. so good. I really, really like it. Good. Yeah, that's what matters. <laughs> All right. We got our appetizer. This is the Mex Cordilla. It's yeah. a like Korean barbecue quesadilla. It looks really good. We're at Library Ale House, by the way, and excited to try this place for the first time. I got a little cider here, which is tasting so good. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Hi, cat. You happy Mama's home? Hi. You know I miss you too. We're used to being together all the time, huh? Are you gonna play hard to get now the camera's on? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, good girl. Kisses? Oh, it's so sweet. My sweet girl. I love you. No, no, leave that alone. Good girl. We're back home now and I'm going to work on cleaning up this whole area here using two of the items that I got from Umbra. If you missed it, I hauled those in a previous video last week, I believe, when you're watching this. So let me show you. First up is this jewelry organizer, which I'm very excited about. It's really nice. So, um, let me show <laughs> it's on the bed here, but whatever. Um, you can obviously hang necklaces or bracelets or anything from this, and then it has this nice little glass piece at the bottom here that you can put rings or earrings or anything like that into. I also have this organizer here, which is a little spinny guy, and this is like a cosmetics organizer. So I'm hoping, although I have to see, but what my idea is is that I put my skincare and makeup into this one container here and just have it all sort of in one place and since it spins it'll be easy to access either that's sort of my plan we're gonna see what happens all right i just cleared this off a little threw some stuff on the bed that way i have some room to start organizing and figuring out how this will all fit in here i think that this will go up top here and this will stay down here with this plant i don't even know if this plant is going to stay here it was just on my dresser before so that's why I have it there. I'm gonna start with this guy just because I have all of that stuff out and then all of my jewelry are in like bags in here. So I have to go through all of those and reorganize. So we're gonna start with the easy thing. I'm gonna start with brushes because those obviously go in here and I just wanna start with the ones that I use. I have this bag that has my like everyday makeup in it. That's it. Those are the three brushes I, do to, I use to do my makeup every day. I'm also thinking like that should go in there because that seems right thinking like eyeliners can probably go in there too maybe some tools like that little guy and i'm gonna hang the tweezers on the outside of that i do have some other brushes that i like i'm gonna put those in there too back to the everyday makeup um, the only thing that really can't go in here is palettes which is sort of a bummer but um actually hmm yeah, so what I'm thinking is makeup will go up top here and skincare on the bottom because I definitely use more skincare than makeup. I'm pretty positive. Well, there you go. That is all of the everyday makeup that I use. It didn't even take up this entire back section. Which makes me think, can I do something with palettes back there? I only use two palettes regularly. Okay, no, it's too big, but it, I'm sure it can fit down here. So maybe I do that guy there, that guy there, this guy up here. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that for now, but we'll see how it goes. I feel pretty good about that. I feel like it's functional. Yeah, look at that. Okay, next, we're gonna continue working through here on some jewelry stuff. So, hmm, I don't know, I'm gonna have to play around with this. Here's where we're at. First of all, I feel like I've lost some jewelry on my move. I don't understand, but whatever. This is great. All of that is organized there. I have my earrings in this separate side dish. And then in here, I decided to put like hair clips, pins, safety pins that I use all inside this little dish here. Now I just need to figure out some of this stuff. But for the most part, this is pretty much like organized here. I just need to like put away some stuff and figure out a few other little things. Okay, and here we're at, and this is, yeah, I think how we're gonna leave it. 
at least for today, and I feel pretty good about this. So let me show you. Um, obviously, I just have a couple things over here. I've always had like this plan on my dresser with a couple little products and stuff, lotions and stuff like that. So that's all there. Over here, we have my jewelry, necklaces, hair accessories, pins, earrings. And over here, I have my little reusable cotton pads. I didn't really know what to do with these. So if you guys have an idea, let me know. Maybe I need to get like one of those holders that holds cotton pads. That could be good actually. And then I could put that like down here somewhere. Anyway, moving up here, um, you saw me put all this together, but obviously I have my little rotating makeup and skincare holder here now, which I'm super happy and excited about. I have the little things that I use all the time but would not fit in there. Back here I have an extra palette that I reach for occasionally, but not that often. And then some extra brushes are back there as well. And I feel like, you know, this is really good now. I feel like it's functional. I'm really happy with this. And now somehow just like that, it's 8 p.m. No wonder I'm tired. I wonder what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. We should probably get going in some actual dinner soon. Just feeling lazy. <laughs> and we're running very low on groceries, so let's see what we can come up with. All right, we decided on ramen for dinner, which I am so excited for. I threw some sesame seeds and sesame oil into mine today, which I feel like is going to be delicious. I'm very excited. Connor is making a little spicy ramen situation with the truffle hot sauce. After Jill's master class, which was quite well done. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel like I've perfected my ramen recipe. I'm pretty happy with it, not gonna lie. This sounds so good right now. I've been so cold this night for some reason, and so I feel like this is gonna be perfect. Back on the Game of Thrones grind. It's tense. <laughs> Things are heated. <laughs> <laughs>